Tiddly Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly today out at Oak Ridge Middle School. I came along, well, I went to the high school, of course, first, because what do I know? <laughs> Judy Prime is here, and she is the, ma you're the manager yes. of the student health program through Hackley Community Care. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. I know Muskegon's got one. You guys gave me the invite to come out and talk a little bit about this, because your new dental thing just opened up yesterday. Yep. Talk a little bit about this program, and how did it get started? So we're with the Child and Adolescent Health Centers. Um, we receive funding through the state. Okay. Um, we at Oak Ridge provide services, both medical, dental, and behavioral health services to kids ages 10 to 21. Is, is the need that strong? Yes, absolutely. Um, Tom Livesey is the superintendent out here. has been advocating for this for a long time for his community. Um, so we did a lot of focus groups. We uh, really delved deeply into the MiFi data, looked at the community needs, and um, there's definitely a need for this in this community. So. I, you know, Muskegon is, is, is always kind of struggling to make, you know, they're trying to make ends meet, and people here, they work, and, and you know, we're, we're, we're a working class town, and Absolutely. not everybody's got the greatest insurance, not everybody's got the access to health care that you wish you could have, mm -hmm. or that I had growing up, and things like that, and, and, and an outreach like this, through Hackley Community Care, into the schools, is, a, is truly a community building effort. Oh, absolutely. And this community has embraced us. Yeah. So the, the school is on board, the community's on board, the kids are involved, and it's just really, it's, it's just, it's gangbusters. I was part of Muskegon when we started the Teen Health Center there, and it took, it took a few years to get that concept uh, embedded in the school and making sure kids were utilizing it. But this has just been hitting the ground running. Just like that. Just like that. So we're, we're here to talk about the dental service that just came along, okay. brand new. Yes. But talk about the other things that, that, that parents and kids have access to here. So we have a full-time counselor. Her name's Wendy Stinson. Met her. Um, she, can, uh, she can see kids uh, for behavior health therapy, counseling, crisis intervention, and we've had her here since last April. Really? Yes. And she has helped a lot of families uh, navigate some very difficult things. Let's be honest, the teen years are not exactly easy. Oh, absolutely. I look back to when I was a teen, and it's like, where was she when I was growing up? <laughs> right, right. So she's been here to help the sure. kids. And, um, and the parents, a lot of times, they may come in with the child one or two times, but then the child comes in by themselves. Because it's right here in school. Right, right. Yeah. And in the summer, the kids were riding their bikes up here to see her and talk really, to her. Really? So, yeah. What a great yeah. asset to have to just have. I mean, because, you know, when you're a teenager, you don't know who to turn to. Nope. You don't know who to ask. You've got friends, and, you know, they, they don't know any better than you do. But to, just to know that she's here for that little bit of balance in life, that's probably a great first step in the right direction oh, for long-term mm -hmm. good health. Mm -hmm. I saw a bunch of exam rooms here as well, so it goes past mental health. Yes, so we have a full-time PA, yep. a physician's assistant. His name's Steve Oginski, and you met him. He's I did, very just got him Yeah, real good guy. This is his passion. Yeah. He just loves working with adolescents and loves providing education. Awesome. And so he's able to take time and talk to them. Uh, we do a risk assessment. Sometimes that opens the door mm -hmm. for them to have conversations about making better choices sure and um and parents like that he's here yeah uh, we have kids you know kids are teenagers sometimes they don't want to be in school nope. right so they go to the office and say they have a stomach ache or a headache and this becomes a pattern yeah and with us being here we can work in conjunction with the parents and they can go down they can say go down there and talk to steve if he says you can go home you can go home really yep so and then but then if you stop and think about it too steve could say, is there something else going on? Exactly. And then they get to talk to Wendy. Yes. Yes. Look at this, folks. This is this is this is happening in Muskegon. This is great stuff. Now let's add the dental element. Okay. All so, right. The kids can come in now for dental treatment. Right. So we when we opened, we put the infrastructure in for dental, but we didn't have the resources. Sure. We were doing. Um, we had a grant to cover operational expenses. Um, we were doing a GoFundMe page and lots of fundraisers f to get the um, the. Uh, construction costs covered, sure. but we just knew dental is a really expensive endeavor. It is. So, but Delta Dental came in and gave us a grant for a uh, hundred and ten thousand dollars. And this summer, we were able to get all the equipment installed no and kidding. operating. And we have a, a part-time hygienist 
and a dentist has been working extra hours to come in and serve the community. So, Isn't that amazing? So we've been seeing kids since uh, October. Really? We've seen already 150 kids. Full scope dental? Yep. No kidding. Full scope. Braces? Uh, no. Oh, no. I tried, guys. We huh? don't do orthodontry. <laughs> tried to save me a few bucks. You know, but what can you do? So, I mean, anything well, we from tooth do. extraction to cleaning to fillings yep. to all of it. Yes. Right here. Right here. Talk about how. I mean, I, do you take insurance here, or how does it work? We take all types of insurance. Okay. We never turn any one away between right. the ages of 10 and 21 if they don't have insurance. We try to get the, them connected with insurance, sure. uh, but we do have a sliding fee scale, and we don't turn them away. So, And we also don't charge co-pays. Really? Yes. So you know that insurance that you, you think you have through your employer, right. it, it costs you so much just to go to the doctor? Sure. You might not have the 30 40 or 50 bucks it no. takes to go to the You're doctor. You're not kidding. I mean... So they could come here and not have to pay that call. How about that? We waive that. Is, now, is this, just, is this just for people in the Oak Ridge District? We're focusing primarily on the Oak Ridge kids, yep. but we d we do take kids from outside the Oak Ridge district after three. They okay. uh, can call and make an appointment. Really? Yes, we do make some exceptions for that, but generally after three because we need the access for for the kids here at Oak Ridge. Absolutely. So what a remarkable program! How does it feel to be you know the one in charge of it all? Oh, is it I, as rewarding as it seems? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I've worked with Hackley Community Care for almost 24 year, is that years right? now. Yeah. 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 And so this has been by far one of the, the greatest things. I've been doing school programs like this for 16 years. And awesome. Every year is a new opportunity. And I have a fabulous team here at Oak Ridge. Yeah. I, was, I got to know them in the park. I got to know them out in the lobby. Yeah. Somebody got in an accident on their way here. Oh, Brand new car. Awful. Uh, it was terrible. For I, I well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk with us today. You bet. Is can I? I'll put the link. They got a website and all that stuff. Yes, we do. We'll put it all right here on Positively Muskegon. If you're a teen between ten and twenty-one, look into what Hackley Community Care can do for you in your neighborhood. If it's Oak Ridge, if it's Muskegon, it doesn't really matter. There's a resource for you here, and it's Muskegon taking care of Muskegon. Judy Prime, thanks for a couple of minutes today. We'll, you know, if we can do more for you, holler. You bet. Let Thank us know. You. Absolutely. All the links will be right here. Positively.